And there we fucking go. <laughs> Jesus. What's going on guys and welcome to the video. It's done. We're not Natty anymore. An enhanced athlete. Do I look bigger yet? I'm not. <laughs> so that was uh, jab number two in the delt. First one was in the glute. I'll spit it with you. It's absolutely no problem to do. It doesn't hurt going in. It doesn't hurt pushing the solution in. It doesn't hurt taking it out. Uh, it didn't even hurt when I trained that day. Uh, the next day, oh boy, like I was literally like limping. It was so painful. It was like someone had just gone bang straight on my delt. Uh, sorry, straight on my glute. It was like a very severe dead glute. And I was saying to my girlfriend at the time, I was like, fuck me, if it's this painful every time, I'm not gonna do it, this is so painful. Uh, but I got through that day, and the next day it got better, it was still a little bit painful. Yesterday, um, it was still a little bit painful, and then today, completely gone, uh, being Monday. Um, so jab Thursday, lots of pain Friday, decent pain Saturday, uh, got much better yesterday, and today, almost non-existent. So it's like three days just before my next jab, great, very in time. This is the delt. This one's gonna hurt more, I feel, because this has already got like a little dull ache in there after me just putting that in there now. Um, I can kind of just feel that. So I'm gonna go train now, I've got chest and back, I'm hoping that this just moves the blood around and hopefully takes it away and disperses it. I made sure I had a really hot shower today so that my muscle's nice and warm so that the oil remains very, very uh, viscous. Sorry, what's the opposite of viscous? Not viscous. <laughs> very liquidy, um, so it can hopefully get around a bit better. I massaged it a little bit more, and was a little bit more assertive of what I was doing. Obviously the first one I was a bit like, I did it on my bad side as well, so I'm not really right-handed, so it's quite difficult for me to be dexterous with it. So when I was putting in here, in my glute, I mean, it was quite difficult for me to aspirate it, and I feel like it was wiggling around in my, uh, in my bum, maybe that's why I hurt a little bit more. But actually the injection site didn't hurt. The injection site was like a very, very little bit tender, and it was more just like, almost feels like where the liquid seeped. So like if it, for example, if it was the delt, it feels like it would like seep down here and hurt down here, rather than actually the injection point. But I don't know, that's my first experience. It was really painful. Probably later today, because this is feeling a little bit somewhat. <laughs> but it's all good, you know why? Because we've got goals to get and we're on the way there. So um, you saw my morning routine, I wake up, I go weigh myself, I do my blood pressure, my uh, blood glucose and my um, heart rate variability. All of these things are very good tools for tracking um, and you should too. Um, I'm off to train, chest and back. Let's get it guys. I'm ready. So a very successful workout. I am feeling good. I'm feeling very, very pumped. I put these pictures and videos on screen right now of how I was looking, how I was I said I was pumped as fuck. And like for a lowest weight today, a 98.6, that's the lowest I've done on this mini cut, and I have been feeling flat. That was really good. Um, felt very, very good during the, during the workouts. Felt strong. Pushed up everything. Didn't want to film it. I wanted to keep this solely about how I'm feeling with this this whole new chapter. Um, but I will show you post workout because we're hungry now. This workout meal: 200 grams of sweet potato, 100 grams of chicken, and two bagels, and 30 grams of jam on each bagel. High carb, low fat, easy to digest. Um, I'm gonna go over my full experience um, from the start to finish. Let's go over, I'm gonna go over the things that Natty would ask because that's what I would ask. Does it hurt? No, it does not hurt injecting whatsoever. Maybe a tiny little prick but go, that goes in. If you've ever given blood or had blood tests, it's way easier than that. It doesn't hurt like, you can feel that prick way more. Um, it's almost like a bigger needle because they need more blood. So it's not like that. Um, are the pins really big? No, I use fairly small pins. So I use fairly small pins on here. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's about this long. Uh, and then this is a blue one, which is about this long. Um, so this is what I think I'm going to be doing next time in my glute because I feel like if you, um, I feel like maybe I didn't go in deep enough with my glute. Um, which is why it hurts so much. Do I feel any different? Um, like I'm not supposed to notice like physical gains for a good three, four weeks. Um, but yeah, I feel I like I feel good. I actually like feel good. I felt really strong in the gym. I was at an all-time low today. I got a great pump. Um, I know it's only been four days. I got a great pump, um, which which I, which I wasn't expecting. 
it's been hard to get a pump the last few days, the last few training sessions, uh, because I've been so depleted, or so depleted, because I've been depleted for me. Um, nothing's changed, um, pre, pre, like all my meals are the same, so nothing would have affected that so much. I'm currently, uh, what is it? It's, it's 10 to six, I did this at like eight. Now I do this, I can feel a slight, a slight pinch here, a slight like, someone's just giving you a dead arm. It's not too bad at all, it's not as bad as, as, um, as the glute was at this point. However, the worst day for the glute was definitely when I woke up the next day. So I'm wondering what this is gonna be like, because I couldn't have even trained my glute when I did it the first time. Um, I was really like kind of sore. Um, does it leave a mark? Let me show you. So this little mark here, that was from four days ago. Um, so you can imagine if you go glute, delt, other glute, other delt, leg, leg, you know, or, or that kind of cycle. I'm not getting back to this for for, uh, for three weeks. So this can, you know, this could actually just be non-existent when I get back to it, which is gonna really delay the scar tissue. Um, I'm not too worried about the pain. Like, I think I'm just gonna get used to it. Um, so I'm not worried about if it hurts in one particular place or the other. Often people just have a bad injection and say, oh, that's a really bad place, you know, so I'm not gonna do that again. For example, the delts, the delts are supposed to hurt. Maybe they're just more sensitive. Might be that the, the, they take more getting used to. So I'm going to be persistent with it, and I'm going to do all three, uh, all six sections. And if I want to do more, I want to do more. If I'm not liking how it's looking, um, then I'll do more. I will be um, going through everything. So if uh, so, if you guys want a more day-to-day -day access, follow me on Instagram. I post all my food regularly. Me injecting regularly, not not actually meat injecting, but <laughs> I'm not going to post on here every time that I inject. Um, I'm going to talk about it very infrequently because I know. The YouTube are a little bit weird about it, so I don't know how much of this video you've actually seen. I'm going to do a bit of research while editing this and making sure that I can put as much as I can in. Um, and that's it. I wonder what other questions you would have as in that. It doesn't hurt. Do you feel it yet? Um, were you scared? No, actually. I feel like I was at peace with the idea, and I just did it. Um, I literally had a quick video up on YouTube saying how to inject new glue properly, and then I just worked, worked out that. I obviously knew how to do it, but I was just making sure I did it like word for word uh, properly. And I just said to myself, this is it, this is this is the decision that you're making. Now every step forward has to be a step up um, in training, in recovery. I, I, I'm not gonna make, I'm not making this decision uninformed at all. I'm not making this decision not knowing what I'm going into. I know I'm fucking going for that Olympia. You know, I'm going for those pro cards, uh, PCA pro and, uh, and IFBB pro, I'm going for those. I'm training for those. I'm making this decision for that, and I'm so confident in that. Then I don't. I don't mind who I tell, um, and I don't mind who knows. I think you know. I think when things like cigarettes and alcohol um, are legal, um, and then taking steroids for a profession, you know, for for your elite sport, I would say um, it's it's a bit ridiculous, especially as when most elite sports people are obviously doing them. Um, but I'm hoping that through the power of Callum, um, Callum Raystrick, my coach, and through the power of my medium, I can I can learn and, and explain to you the best possible way to start using steroids if you ever wanna go down this route. And guys, the first bit starts with five to seven years of training naturally, because in my opinion, like I've heard JP and I've heard other, other coaches say that, you know, you, you should be training for at least a year, at least two years fuck that, like, you need to be training hard, you need to be training well, you need to learn what failure is, you need to be training with people that you don't even know how they train that hard to understand how hard to train. You need to be eating perfectly um, and understanding that everything you've done has been towards that and you're still, you know, you're not getting to where you wanna go. Um, you need to let your natural hormones balance, like from fucking 16 to 22, 23, you are like rocketing anyway. Use that, you can gain a shit ton of muscle. You ever see those people who, who put on like 20 kilos and you're like, oh, you're not natural, but they're like 17. It's because their testosterone is going whoop, like that. I'm not saying it's higher than a 25 year old, because it's not, but it comes up fast peak, so you can get that gain with the increase in testosterone while you're young. And it's so important that you do that. Maybe three four years um there's a lot of information um out there now which actually really really uh can speed up people's process for me obviously it was a way slower process to, to understand training and all that because there wasn't there wasn't social media around there wasn't so much social media around fitness 
um, and I couldn't learn as much as I can learn right now. There, like, there was no such thing as fitness podcasts and all that kind of stuff, but there is now. Um, so people are getting educated quicker, so they might be getting more gains. So I think if you're fully educated, and by fully I mean so that you know the general consensus of everything, you know, obviously things change, obviously new research comes, obviously there are always new ideas to, to, to account company by, um, but you've trained hard, you've ate well, you've recovered well, you understand sleep, you understand how to diet hard, you understand how to prep, um, you understand how to mass, um, and you've been doing that for four or five years and, and you've started to notice it's really fucking hard to progress um, and I want to be said pro, IFBB pro, PCA pro, and, or I want to look like that, C-Bum, I want to look like that, Steve Cook in his prime, I want to look like those people, you know, the reality is they took steroids, so then you might need to consider that, and then when you want to consider that, even then there's a plethora of things that you need to do, you need to make sure that all these things are working like clockwork, which for me, they have been, I had 12 months off season naturally, um, obviously without the six years before that, um, before I even decided to introduce it, um, blood tests, knowing your baselines, understanding the baselines, understanding what this fucking thing that you inject inside you and understand what it does and understand what you're doing. And there is so much more to it. It's, it's a big risk. People brush over it too easy. The g general gym bro who's taking it, um, they're going to fuck themselves up. And you know what? They're the ones who are complaining. I feel sick. Uh, I've got bad gut issues. I can't get, can't get my dick up anymore. I've, I've got loads of spots. I've got gyno. You know, all these things because they're not managing what they're doing, they're not managing their estrogen, they're not managing their anti-estrogens, they're just taking what, what's randomly prescribed but they don't know how they specifically react to estrogen and testosterone. I might take to this and meet, my estrogen might be fine and might not even change, you know? Or I might be completely opposite and I might aromatize loads. Like everyone is different, you need to understand this. Get a blood test done, um, Medichex, Josh Pressure. <laughs> Um, and that's it, ran over guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a very crazy video for me to make. I can't believe that this has happened. I'm no longer natural. Um, and it's fucking cool. It's liberating. I'm ready for action. And I'm here for the fucking long run. Like, and I'm ready to... It gives me tingles, like, thinking about it, you know? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking do it. Like, I've got... I'm putting everything into this. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that you guys can share the journey with me. So, peace and love, everybody. See you soon.